Hi, and welcome back to Yoga with Tim. I'm your host, Tim, and today we're doing a full body morning yoga session. So let's get started seated. With your legs crossed at the middle of the shins, knees about in line with your ankles, bring your palms together. With your eyes closed, take a moment to get centered. Feel your breath move in through your nose, your lungs expand, and feel your breath move out. Breathe in, feel the chest open, the spine tall. As you breathe out, release the tension through your groins, your neck and your shoulders. Then open your eyes. Bring your fingers off to your side and let your right ear tip over towards your right shoulder. Feel a stretch to the side and back of left side of the neck, down through the shoulder to the backs of the fingers. And then keep that stretch through the neck as you gently tip your chin towards your right chest. Bring your ear back to your shoulder, head back up on top, and change sides. Then gently start to tip your chin towards your chest. Ooh, this side's a little tighter. Breathe into it. Keep the stretch. Reach from the neck down to the shoulder into the fingers. Head back up. Good, then as you sit down to your right hip, take your right arm up and reach over. But instead of how far you could go over, let me see how much space you can create through your side ribs. Then turn your chest up towards the sky and angle your chest towards the ground. Come back up, change sides, left arm up. Sit down through the left hip as you reach over. Turn your chest up towards the sky. Angle your chest down towards the ground. Come back up and then come onto your hands and your knees for some bovine feline articulations. Hands will go right underneath the shoulders or the knees under the hips. Roll your chin towards your chest Round your upper back, middle back, lower back, tuck your butt. Then bring the neck into extension, thoracic spine, middle, lumbar, sit bones up. Again from your head. And roll from your head again into extension. Come into neutral, right hand behind your head. Inhale, roll your chest open without your head sinking. And exhale, bring your elbow towards your forearm. Inhale, roll open. Exhale, this time twist. Slide your hand behind your left wrist. And you can stay in this upright position, working on stretching, elongating, or you can lower even further, leaning your shoulder onto the ground, up to you. I like this upright one because I feel like I get it more in the thoracic spine, but don't take my word for it. Put your right hand back down, left hand behind your head, twist. Inhale, open up without the head sinking. Exhale, slide the plant behind the forearm and hold. Good, then come onto your hands and your knees. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up. We're gonna come into our first down dog. This is a short dog. Dachshund, you know, that type of thing. 
Then set your knees down with your toes curled under. Release your hips back towards your heels, but reach forward through your side ribs into your hands so you're elongating instead of rounding into the child. It's like it's a modified child's variation of child's. Toe torture child. Keep those toes curled under, open up the soles of the feet. Then come back up onto hands and knees. Take the hands print hands and handprint forward for a more classic dog. Border collie, golden retriever. Inhale, glide forward into a plank position. Exhale, stretch back into the classic dog. Glide into plank pose, inhale. Exhale into the dog. Then one hand at a time, walk your hands back to your feet. And as you inhale, slide your hands up your shins, come into a flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Reach to your feet, reverse swan dive, spread your arms. Inhale, come up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into a flat back. Walk your hands out, one handprint at a time. Hold in your plank, turn on your core. Bring your right leg up an inch. Change, left leg up an inch, but firm that right buttock into the heel, scoop your navel up. Set that foot down, stretch your hips back, up and back. Then one hand at a time, starting with the other hand, walk back, flat back, inhale, exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, Samastiti. Inhale, your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Walk your hands out, plank pose. Raise your left leg up an inch. Change, raise your right. Set that foot down, lower down onto your belly. Stretch your arms forward, turn your thumbs up, and as you press the pinky finger side of the hand down, lift the triceps, elbows. Press the tops of the feet, lift the kneecaps. Then raise your right hand up just an inch without your ribs twisting, and raise your left leg up an inch. Reach to the hand through the foot. Change, left hand, right leg. Change simultaneously with the opposite arm leg change simultaneously with the other arm leg. Set the hands and the feet down, bend elbows into cactus. You guys know by now how much I love the cactus. Oh, this is so good for your back muscles, for strengthening the back to help with your posture, but get longer. Pull through the crown, reach through your pubic bone and your sit bones towards your heels, and then slide your hands back and press up into plank. Stretch back into down dog. Now this time walk your feet forward to the front. Come into the flat back, inhale. Exhale to fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. Press down through your feet as you stretch your arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Step back, plank pose. Lower slowly, chaturanga. Lift back up. Lower onto your belly. Inhale into cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Walk your feet to the front. Inhale, flat back. 
exhale fold sit back into chair pose starting to heat up a little bit warming up stand samastiti inhale chair exhale fold inhale flat back step back into plank bring right knee to right armpit inhale reach back three-legged dog exhale step your foot up by your thumb press straight down through your right heel engage your right outer hip lift your navel buttock flush down raise your arms up bring your hands down step back plank pose bring your left knee up to your left armpit inhale reach back three-legged dog exhale knee to chest step your foot press down through your left heel engage your left outer hip lift your navel raise your arms bring your hands down step back downward facing dog walk your feet forward inhale find a flat back exhale fold forward inhale into chair pose exhale samastiti inhale into chair exhale fold inhale flat back step back into plank now we're going to start with the left leg this time just to mix it up left knee to armpit inhale reach back exhale step your left foot up press down through your heel inhale come up bring your hands down step back into plank right knee to armpit inhale reach back step your foot up inhale come up into crescent hands down step back downward facing dog step walker float up to the front inhale into a flat back exhale fold sit back in a chair pose right hand to hip twist hook your left elbow to your knee join your palms make sure that your left shin didn't sink forward draw your left shin back into alignment with your right grow through your spine to the line of your knees make sure you're not hunching over to your knees lift up away from these now shift the weight over into your right heel right outer hip strong step your left leg back into a crescent lunge twist crescent lunge twist what's this thing called again yes that's what it is lift your back inner thigh up and grow your spine long through the line of your back ankle collarbones broad as you press your index finger knuckles then bring your hands down step back into downward facing dog or take a vinyasa walk your feet forward inhale flat back exhale fold sit back into chair pose bring your left hand to your hip and twist press down for your elbow lift your heart up as you join your palms so just notice the tendency of your right shin to want to sink forward which is going to turn off your hip and glute muscles instead you want to keep that leg back so your hips turn on so your core turns on to support you then shift the weight over into your left heel as you glance down step your right leg back instead of your back leg sinking lift your back thigh up back leg strong grow through the line of your back leg
then bring your hands down, step back into down dog, or take a vinyasa. Step your right foot up by your right thumb. Press down through the center of your right heel. Stretch your arms back at your side. Feel as you press evenly into your right foot, your right outer hip turns on, but flow your left inner leg long from your groin to your knee to your ankle. Now see if you can maintain that and stretch your arms forward. Then from here, arms back behind you. Keep all that sense of elongation through your spine as you step up to balance on your right leg. Without your foot touching, come up to stand. Bring your left knee up. Stretch your arms up. And then same focus, keep the lower back long as you raise your arms instead of letting it sink forward. Bend your right leg and wrap your left leg over. Then cross your left elbow under for eagle pose. Uncross your arms and your legs. Stand tall in mountain pose. Press down through your left heel as you bring your right knee up. Hold your knee or practice taking your big toe out in front of you. If you're less flexible, you can just put the heel on like a coffee table or a credenza or something so you can get the mountain pose lying again. Then change hands and twist. And if it's too much to straighten the leg, just stick with the bent knee. Come back to center, arms up. Bring hands to prayer, tip into warrior three. Step back into the lunge. Arms back behind you. Press straight down through the center of your left heel. Feel your outer left hip engage. Then keeping both sides of the low back long, send the arms forward. Thumbs turned up, thumbs turned out slightly to turn on your external rotators. Then arms down at your side, you can hold here or lean into your left leg and step up. You can always use blocks under your fingers to work on your alignment. Then without that foot touching the floor, come up to stand, bring your knee up, arms up. Now feel the lower back get long through the reach of your arms. Find your mountain pose line, even if you can't lift this knee as high. And then come into eagle. Bend your left, wrap your right elbow under. and uncross. Stand tall on mountain. Press to your right foot as you bring your left knee up. Now just work on standing tall holding your knee. That's totally fine. Or you could take your big toe out. Then change hands whether you have the knee or the big toe and twist. Come back to center, arms up. Tip back into Vera 3.
Step into warrior one. Straighten your right leg, right hand to your hip, twisted triangle. Bring your hands down, stretch back into downward dog, or take a vinyasa. Step your left foot, veer one, inhale to reach up. Straighten your leg, left hand to your hip, and twist. Bring your hand down, step back into down dog, or take a vinyasa. Then set your knees down. Set your elbows down and interlock your hands. We're gonna come into Shirshasan, headstand, or we're just gonna practice down dog on the forearms. So holding your head balance or forearm dog, five breaths. Reach down through your forearms, whichever one you're doing, and lift your inner shoulder blades away from your ears. Slowly with control, lower yourself back down. Sit back in a child's pose. Preparations for Supta Virasana, come into a kneeling position. If you can sit flat, that's fine. If it's too much on your knees, you can use a block, or you can just sit with your legs crossed in front of you. Then from here, let your pelvis start to tip, buttock flesh down. You can even shift the buttocks if it's caught from the block, and then lift your heart, roll your shoulders open. Reach through the hips, out of the lower back. Grow the sides of the neck as you roll your heart open. As you're more flexible, lower down onto your elbows. And then come back up. Cross your legs, come into Dandasan. So last week we worked on, the, on strengthening neutral spine. Today we're gonna to work on strengthening and flexion, but I still want you to keep the idea of elongation through your spine. So growing tall, lean yourself back for Navasan, slide your heels towards you, and then start to lift your feet up. Now as you hug in with your legs, without any sinking, still being pulled up from your head, take one arm forward, maybe both. And then if you can keep this V shape between your thighs and your torso and start to lift your feet up, go ahead. Then set your heels down, lower halfway for Ardha Navasan, pull the belly in, and stretch the legs out. Squeeze the back of the armpit in it. Come back up into boat pose. A 
lower back into low boat. And lie onto your back. Bend your knees, plant your feet, and lift your hips up. Point your thumbs straight up, push down with your upper arm bones, and feel your shoulder blades plug in. Neck long, tail long. Hold here or go into wheel pose, Urdhvadhanurasana. It's not actually wheels, upward facing bow. But uh, yeah, you could do that too. And then slowly with control, lower your hips back down. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Open your arms out to the side and let your legs fall over to the left. Come back to center. Hug that left leg in towards you. Hold the shin or the back of the knee. Set the left foot down. Take the right big toe up towards the ceiling. Sky, if you're inside or outside. And stretch the left leg out along the ground. Release that, change legs. Cross your left ankle over your right. Open your arms out to the side and twist. Come back to center. Ankle to knee pose, hug in. Set your foot down, take your left big toe, and then start to stretch the leg up. Reach the right leg out along the ground, but lengthen your hips out of your back through the reach of your right heel. Let your left shoulder start to drop back in. Release that. Stretch your legs out for Shavasana. If there's a last little hug and knees or happy baby or something you gotta do, that's cool. If not, just go right into corpse. Give your body permission to completely relax here for the next few minutes. Feel your breath move in. Feel your breath move out. Just keep watching the breath rolling in, rolling out. and noticing the sensation in your body.
Then gently <clears throat> bend your knees. Roll over to your side. And press yourself up to seated. Bring your palms together. Namaste. Now, a, a good gauge of your practice is you should feel like you feel energized and nourished from your practice. You didn't work so hard to where you feel completely exhausted, and it works too little to where you're like, well, that was nothing. I'm feeling energy in my body. So let me know if we achieved our goal below, what, if that worked for you. And if not, I have some other recommendations I could send over to you. Have a great day. Hey, make sure to hit the like button. Leave, uh, yeah, leave that comment and let me know. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure to turn on your notifications because that's a new thing that you have to do apparently. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.